Hey guys, Mason here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be giving y'all some tips and tricks for Laundry Simulator. Let's get right into this. So first of all, let's say y'all start getting like somewhat good at the game. You got like a couple hundred thousand or whatever. So what I recommend is when you start getting like quite a bit of money, don't buy like the diamond, not diamond, sapphire washing machines. This never buy these like just go from like these over here up to like the next one see that that goes with the same for all of them like this one over here like this one never buy this one just like keep saving up these and then just go from like these over here over to this one i also kind of recommend not getting the gold I mean, you can if you really want to, but mainly I mostly just like stay with like the emerald and the sapphire ones. I normally don't buy the gold or sapphire ones. Actually, this isn't sapphire, this is diamond. Yeah, I don't buy the gold or diamond ones. I just go from like the emerald and the ruby all the way up to just like the next washing machine. And as I said, that goes with all of them because they're basically like the same design I think this one is different nope so yeah don't buy these just go ahead and go from like emerald and stuff all the way up to the next one so next for baskets so for baskets I recommend only getting like the next basket whenever you don't have enough like capacity like see this one five and I believe the first one can hold five like oh it, oh oh yeah I have fifty plus fifty percent capacity so just look at the regular number so this one it can hold five and and this washing machine can hold five so yeah so stay with that one until you get to like this one this one whenever you have to like have six of them go ahead and do your best to upgrade to the next one so yeah the next one it only costs ten. So actually, you can get like the the blue one. Is it blue? Yeah. You can get like this one before you even like get the washing machine. This one. But yeah. So let's say that. So I'm pretty sure that one could hold 10. So whenever you. So keep that one for a little bit. You can upgrade it a little bit so you can do like two trips. Like. You can upgrade it a little bit, but like 100% upgrade it whenever you get to like the ones that can hold like 11 each time. Like 11, that means you'll have to take like two trips to the conveyor and back just to fill up one washing machine. And that is when you really want to make sure you have the next one. Another thing that I recommend is to like not have a pet equipped. Like, I mean, you can if you really want to and you don't want to have to like run to the conveyor ton but mainly i don't have a pet equipped because like every time i'm in like a public server or something and i have my pet equipped my pet always fills up the washing machines right whenever like an airdrop or something comes so yeah i mean you can like if your washing machines are all full and an airdrop comes you can just like go up to them click this delete the washing machine and replace it and it will be completely empty that's what i do like every time an airdrop comes so i can go ahead and get like the shinies and stuff and actually for this newest update they added like this nuke right here so now i actually kind of recommend grinding in public servers because whenever the nuke drops down it, like br brings in clothes and all clothes give like times two money and to get the nuke, you can just, like, fill this thing up all the way, which you do, like, faster in public servers. So, yeah, I recommend being in public servers so you can fill this up faster and get, like, all the nuke stuff. Also, if you're planning on, like, rebirthing a lot, and, like, not really rebirthing a lot, but if you're trying to, like, rebirth, like, multiple times, kind of, I recommend getting some of these machines right here. And if you're brand new to the game, I still recommend getting some of these machines. 
So if you're new to the game, getting these machines might be a little bit harder if you don't have Robux. But if you're like high up in the game, you know, and you're almost ready to rebirth, you should probably have like enough gems already saved up. Then you can go ahead and like buy one of these washing machines from someone for gems. Washing machines normally go for like around like 700 to 800 at max. I recommend getting like the newest washing machine because the newest washing machine that is still here costs like the least amount of gems. While if you try to get one of the older ones like graffiti or something it might cost like double the amount. And also before we continue if you want some of this stuff like a limited time washing machine or you want like this Easter basket right here let's go ahead and go to it this Easter basket so you can only have like one of these in your inventory so you can only have one of these so if you already already have one in your inventory and stuff someone else can't trade you one but me I like bought bought one from someone for like gems and then I completed like the Easter event and unlocked this because these are tradable, you know. So then I completed the Easter event and unlocked it. So I have two of these now. So I will actually be giving one of these away soon on my Discord server. So make sure to like click the link in the description to join my Discord server. If you don't already have an Easter basket, you, there is a chance that you could win the giveaway and get this Easter basket. But remember, you can only get this if you don't have it already. Because if you do have it, it's, it will say that, like, this person already has the Easter basket. So, yeah. And I will probably be giving away some of these, like, limited time machines right here. Probably the newest ones. Like, not the graffiti ones and stuff. Because I gotta keep those, you know. Like, I gotta keep them in my collection. <laughs> those are, like, pretty hard to get. So, yeah. These, I have one of those. Um, I will probably also be giving away some egg machines because i have eight of those too might give away some luxury florals some flower power ones and yeah and i also have an extra easter bunny one so yeah i'm gonna be giving away tons of stuff on laundry simulator so make sure to join my discord server if you want some of those also if y'all haven't already i recommend completing the journal right here not the nuclear one, like I recommend completing the nuclear one, but mainly focus on this one if you haven't completed it already. Because once you complete this one, over here you will unlock the like basket, where is it? The collector's basket, which this is actually the best basket in the game. So yeah, I highly recommend getting this. And once you have this, if you get like this right here before you get any of this stuff, that means like you'll be able to save like 1 billion coins instead of buying this and you'll just get this. Also, you can go ahead and complete your challenges over here. Most times whenever you grind, you don't even have to like focus on your challenges. You can just like grind and you'll automatically complete them. Because like if you're like collecting clothes and constantly washing them and stuff, then you'll probably get like 100 towels. 250 towels or whatever quest you need some of the quests are harder than others like spin the wheel three times that one is pretty hard so yeah so back over to the washing machines so what i recommend you don't have to like buy every single one as you go on like you can get like a couple of these and then you can go ahead and like grind like five washes or whatever and go ahead and like skip forward over to like this one or whatever see i'm pretty sure i went from like this one all the way up to where is it this one well actually i didn't use this uh first one this time because i had like plenty of limited time washing machines because you keep the limited time washing machines whenever you whenever you rebirth which this one capacity 5 multiplier 1 while the limited time machines are capacity 11 and multiplier 55 yeah. 
I'm pretty sure that is basically much everything. So yeah, make sure to join the Discord server and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see y'all in the next video.